Good morning, plant tribe, or evening, afternoon, good whatever it is for you. Uh, welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time that I am meeting you and you are meeting me, welcome. My name is Nikki. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for coming back for more. What can I say? Your gluttons for punishment. <laughs> um, so today, um, I thought I would talk about some of the things that I like to use. I get asked a lot of questions about what I use for this or that. And so I just thought I would roll all of those things into one video and share them with you together. So grab your cup of coffee or glass of wine or whatever your vice seems to be and let's talk about some stuff. Yeah. Okay, so uh, what I will start by saying is all of the things that I'm going to talk about today, I will list down in the description of the video. Um, a lot of them are, actually I think all of them, yeah, I think all of them are Amazon links. Um, so they will be down in the description and I have little headings there so things are kind of easier to locate. And if you have any questions, by all means, ask me. I like to chat. If you haven't picked up on that already. Okay, so the first thing that I want to show you today is something that you've seen before. I've talked about it before. I'm sure that this is not going to be a new product to you, but it is something that I use and I swear by. So therefore, I'm gonna show you today. So this is my water meter. Nope, this is my moisture meter. Too much coffee today, maybe. Um, so. This particular one, I'm sure you've seen before. It has um, moisture, light, and pH. I honestly only use the light. I honestly only use the moisture part of it. I don't use it for pH or light. Um, I, I don't know if it's fairly accurate, plus I don't really care. I can see the light and I know my plants. Okay, anyway, rambly. Um, so, I, I know there's a lot of people that don't use these and I don't necessarily, there's some of my plants that I'm getting to know well enough now that I can just kind of lift them, but there are plants that I will continue to always, always use a moisture meter for. Um, and I'm not going to get into this big rant about why I use it. If you want to know, go check out um, the video that Jordan and I did where he tries to guess if a plant needs watered or not by just using his finger or looking at it or lifting the pot up. Um, Jordan didn't fare so well in that video. I will link that up in the cards up here. Yeah, <laughs> if you wanna go check that out. So that is my first product that I use and I love my moisture meter. The second product is one that you're probably familiar with. I've shown you this fairly recently and um, I know some of you have picked this up and are having amazing results and that is so, so awesome. It makes me so happy to hear because uh, this is a product that, um, you know, I I really believe in. I'm not going to get ranty about it again because I went on quite the rant in my fertilizer video, which I will link here. Um, so this is Marfil. Um, it's a soil enhancer. Um, it's got all of the nutrients and macro and micronutrients that your plant needs. Um, it is 100% um, phytoplankton, so it's really, it's all natural. There's no chemicals. You're not gonna like roast the crap out of the roots of your plant. And um, this is stuff that I absolutely swear by. Um, if you haven't tried this already, please try this. It's ridiculous, honestly. It's like ridiculous good. It's not ridiculous bad. Anyways, so that is um, my soil enhancer slash fertilizer. It's not marketed as fertilizer, but that is what I use it for because it has everything that you're planting. Anyways, this definitely will be dink. <laughs> this will be linked down in the description of the video. Okay, the next one is going to solve a problem that a lot of you have asked me. Um, and it's something that I really struggled with when I first started 
um, with my moss poles. So I have a lot of moss poles. I think I uh, plant on moss poles. I think I have about six or seven. Could be more, I'm not sure. Um, so one of the struggles, as anybody with moss poles knows, is trying to keep them wet or moist. Um, you know, it's difficult to like, when you're watering, you can't really pour it on. You're gonna like soak your plant. You don't want rotting roots and that kind of thing. Um, so I have come up with a solution that works amazing for me. I tried misting them. That didn't really work overly well. Um, so this is something that I got. Um, it actually, I believe I got it in like a little succulent kit, but you can buy them, um, I believe, in singles on Amazon. And so you just obviously put water in here. It's, it's really simple and they're super cheap. Um, <clears throat> and then you just spray it or squirt it on the on the moss pole and you can direct it and it's very like pointed and you don't have to worry about like spraying everywhere else or soaking your plant underneath the sink or you know you can try to tip it and like you know run it under water but you're gonna end up with like soil everywhere and your top dressing is gonna go and then your plants it's just you know and then you also run the risk of like wrecking or disturbing your roots because once you tip that over um, the the moss pole that's in the dirt is gonna kind of flex and move and um, you don't want that. So this is the best solution that I have had or that I have found. And um, yeah, super simple, works amazingly well. So, okay, the next product I'm sure is something that you've seen before. This is not going to be new, but this is something that I use and something that I have all the time on hand. So I am sharing it with you. Um, so this is my orchid spray. Um, plant food mist, orchid plant food mist. Now, you may be sitting there going, Nikki, you don't do orchids. I know. <laughs> um, but for anyone with Hoyas, this is an amazing, amazing product. I don't know why it works. I haven't checked into all the science behind it, but what I can tell you is it works on Hoyas. So usually about once every two weeks, I will go around all of my Hoyas and I will spray this all over the leaves, um, on the stems, around the top of the soil. And I have noticed a massive, massive change in my Hoyas. They grow so much faster. And um, yeah, I can't really say much else other than it works. So if you have Hoyas and you don't have this already, go get you some. Okay, the next thing I want to show you today. Now, you guys know that I'm not a big advocate for misting necessarily, at least not to mist to increase moisture because if you look at the science behind it, it's just not a thing. It doesn't work. Um, now, some plants do like to have a little bit of wetness on them occasionally. Some don't, make sure you Google or look into it. <laughs> um, but this, little sprayer or mister is like the best one that I found. I believe it's actually meant for um, like beauty salons. Um, the mist is like so fine. It's almost like maybe a little bit more dense than the mist that would be coming out of the humidifier, um, but it is lovely. And um, you could actually pump it a couple times and it will continue a stream. Um, so yeah, that is, um, my mister. If you guys are misters, then this is an amazing, amazing one to get. Okay, the next thing I'm going to show you, I have tried a bunch of different things in order to trellis my plants on moss poles or um, on trellises or bamboo or whatever. Um, and I found in the beginning, I couldn't find anything that I wasn't afraid of like actually damaging the stems of my plants. And this is a product that I found that is amazing. Okay, so it's basically it's Velcro is all it is. So on one side, it's kind of rough. And on the other side, it is super soft. So basically what I've got is, um, and I'll insert picture or something of all of the things as I go here. Um, you've probably already seen that. <laughs> Anyways, so the nice thing about these is you can reuse them and I mean that's a huge roll that's gonna last you forever number one and you can cut it to size however long you need 
And then when you wrap it around your plant, because it has a soft inner side, you're not gonna damage the plant. And as the plant grows, you can modify the size around or move it up or down or however you need it. So, um, you know, unlike with things like zip ties or, you know, other little plant ties and things like that, this is a much, much easier, quicker, more gentle solution and it's super cheap. So that also will be down in the description. In the description. The next thing that I am going to show you, um, now there's all kinds of these on online or wherever I'm sure you can find them anywhere. But these are ones, that, oh sorry. <laughs> these are, uh, what do you call them? These measure your humidity. <laughs> the name is like completely left me. Um, and also the temperature uh, in your home or around your plants. Now I buy these in packs of two. They're super cheap um, and you can set them to Fahrenheit or Celsius, whatever you um, go by. So it will, I have these, I think I have four of them kind of set around um, my living room dining room area where I have all my plants and they're a really handy way just to kind of keep tabs on it um, it is good to have a couple around and I know some of them can get a little bit expensive so I this is like a great option because they're cheap and you can buy a bunch of them and it's not gonna like break the bank but then you're still gonna have the ability to know what your humidity and and temperature levels are around your room because as you guys know you know, you can walk from one side of the room to the other or even a few feet and your humidity and your temperature can change drastically depending on whether you're near a vent or a window or whatever. So anyway, those. Okay, the next thing I wanna show you, I'm sure you have seen before, but these are super awesome if you have fungus gnat issues. So, I have been pretty good, knock on wood, about not having fungus gnats um, or an infestation. I mean, there's always gonna be like one or two, um, but if you do have issues with these, these are sticky sticks, which can we just, can we just say how cute the name of these are? <laughs> there's oh, that reminds me of a joke that my kids told me once, and it's super cheesy, I'm gonna tell you because I think it's hilarious. What is, brown and sticky a stick <laughs> sorry okay that was bad anyways so these are great for fungus gnats aphids thrips and white fly now <clears throat> i haven't found them overly effective with thrips um thrips are not actually attracted as much to yellow as they are to the color blue now they do have uh, blue sticky traps and I actually do have those already linked down in my description, but um, They're not as prone to flying as um, Fungus gnats are I'm having a rough go today So anyways, these are really great for fungus gnats You will be surprised at how much disgusting crap you find on these little sticky sticks It's gross so yeah. Okay, so I know one th thing that all of us plant people struggle with, especially when your collection is insane, <laughs> um, is space to put things. Um, a lot of us are looking for um, ways to get our plants up off of surfaces and uh, or create like a really cool little green wall type scenario. Uh, these things I found on Amazon quite a long time ago, and I love these. So these are little, they're flat on one side, and um, they're actually self-watering as well. So, oh, the other really cool thing about these, I mean, there's lots of cool things. So they actually have a lot of aeration. They have the holes in the side, kind of like a net pot would have. And so... I swear by these they come in three different sizes like small medium and large and there's a little hole there and you can just honestly screw a or put a nail in the wall even and uh, they're light enough 
as, far, as long as you don't have like a crazy heavy plant in them. And uh, they hang on your wall and they look awesome. I'll insert uh, some footage here of what mine look like. And these are really, really cool little options and they are not expensive at all. And they look really nice and modern and stylish. And you can just put them all over the place and have a cool green wall or just one, whatever floats your boat. All right, next on my list is these little prop balls. Now you've seen these before. Um, I've talked about them before about how cool they are. And this is another really great way that you can get plants propagations up off surfaces. And they're really, really cool looking. So it's just a little ball. Again, it's got like a flat back and this little hole here. So they come with these little hooks and you just tap the, um, they come with like four little nails that are built into them. I'm explaining this really well. I'll put a picture here. Um, and then you just hang them on your wall. So there's these cool little, you know, glass globes that are on your wall and they are amazing propagation vessels. And I have, oh, four or five, I think I have six or eight of these and I love them. And so do my plants. <laughs> Okay, the last thing um, I want to talk about today is my humidifier. Um, I don't think this, again, is a big shock to anyone. I think that everybody has one of these. If you don't, um, put some pennies away and grab them because honestly, they're the bomb. Um, so that is my Lavoie humidifier. Uh, I love it because it has an automatic on and off, which is fantastic. You can set the humidity level to your room and then when it hits that, um, you know, when it dips, I think it's 10% uh, below whatever you've set it at, it will kick on and it will keep the humidity at whatever you want it to be in your room. Um, it also has a directional 360 um, two directional spouts so you can kind of point those however you need them to um, I actually have two of these now that's four I have two uh, so I have one on my big black shelf and it kind of comes up and kind of drapes down um, on all the plants below it and beside it and then I also now have my second one on my metal racking at the top of my stairs um, I have one spout pointed in each direction and um, my plants are loving it. Like McDonald's, not sponsored. <laughs> Today's subscriber plant tribe comment comes from Linda Carey. Um, I wanted to include Linda's because she's not normally a commenter, but she's been around for quite some time. Thank you so much, Linda, for your sweet words. And um, we all, we all know you're there silently watching and that's okay. That's totally fine. You don't need to comment all the time. I know you're there and I thank you for it. So thank you so much. And if you would like to be featured in next week's video, throw a comment down there, chit chat with somebody and um, you never know, you may see your name in lights or at least on my screen. <laughs> anyway, that is pretty much the end of today's video. I'm sure that I've forgotten things that I use on a regular basis. However, um, those are the main ones. So if you have any questions about that, or if you have anything that you use that you absolutely swear by, please go ahead and throw it down in the comment section because I know everybody is always looking for tips and tricks and things that are easy to make our plant parenting lives a little bit less hectic and crazy. Um, again, especially when you have a large collection, you will pretty much do whatever you can to make things easier for yourself um, and less time consuming. So yeah, that's about it. So again, if you have any questions, throw them down in the comments. I love chit chatting with you guys. And also you can visit me um, on the daily on my Instagram account. I will put that somewhere here. Editing Nikki can work that out. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching and liking and commenting and subscribing if you haven't already. Have a great day, night, week, month, year. I love you all to bitty bits. Mwah!